short and sweet. Hello folks, I studied maths at university and I just discovered something. DaVinci Resolve is open to mathematical functions. That's not only beautiful, that's very helpful and very simple to use. You can follow along with any kind of video. I'm using a clip I recorded for Wikipedia. It documents an audio technology from the past, as you can see here. By the way, I mounted my camera on a motion-controlled dolly which cycles around the cassette player. Here is the clip in DaVinci Resolve. I cut it into three sections. Only the middle one has the effect you're going to see now. I select the section with the effect and with the right mouse button I load it into Fusion. Fusion is the special effects module of DaVinci Resolve. It is a node based system. We have a media in node on the left, that's our original video, and a media out node on the right which is the rendered result. In between are two nodes named Vignette and Film Damage. When I disable the Film Damage effect, only the Vignette effect remains. Can you see its randomness? That's a random mathematical function. Here is the Film Damage only, no Vignette. The Vignette is a static effect by default. You can, however, animate it with keyframes. I animated it with a simple random function. And it reads like this, math.random, parenthesis open, 0 0.6, comma, 1, parenthesis closed. This means I want the size of the vignette to have random numbers between 0 0.6 and 1. I tried out several combinations of these numbers and these look okay to me. Let me delete the mathematical function, which, like in other programs, is called expression. When entering a function into an effects parameter, we need to start with an equal sign. We type in equals math random 0.61, followed by the tab key to confirm this. The function is displayed below. Here, editing is easy. When you type in values between, say, 0.3 and 0.7, the vignette is covering much more of the cassette recorder of the original video. Let me show you another simple function, the sine function. It creates a pulsating effect. Since its output is between minus 1 and plus 1, the vignette shows the white point quite often. That's when it's, well, 0 and below 0. We can move the function half a unit up, for example, by typing in 0 0.5 plus the sine function. If we want it to pulsate more slowly, we need to enter a value within the sine function, for example, dividing it by 20. You can use maths in most of the fusion effects, but not at the top level of the DaVinci edit page. If you want to randomly move your video from left to right, you need a transform node in fusion. There are several websites out there which list and explain functions and operators for DaVinci Resolve. Use the word expression in your preferred search engine to find these functions. And apart from that, have a very good day.